Hi everyone, so I'm going to be doing a kind of like vanity slash makeup collection tour video. Um, I just wanted to make this quick little intro just saying that I'm not trying to brag about anything that I'm showing in this video. I am very happy with everything I have and I feel really blessed that I have so many things of the things I like to do. Like I have a lot of, that didn't make any sense. Anyway. I'm just, I'm very happy with the stuff I have, um, yeah, I would like more makeup, but I think it's just kind of like an obsession of mine, so I'll always want more makeup, um, but yeah, so please don't hate on this video or anything, and if you don't like videos like this, just exit it off right now, because this has been my number one requested video lately, and I just decided to do it, so I'm just going to get right into it. I don't really know how you guys would have known about this, but basically I'm redoing this little room that we have. That my sister and I used to play Barbies in into a, um, like, beauty room. So, I'll do a tour of that room when it's done, which basically it's this and only, like, a couple other things. So, yeah, I'm just going to start off by saying that I made this chair in, um, eighth grade. Like, I didn't make it, but I, like, sanded it and painted it and stuff. So, you can't, like, get it anywhere. I'm going to do a really quick overview of my vanity. So, this vanity is from Target. Um, it was only about $130, and I don't know, I guess I'll just start over here. I'm going really fast. If you want a more in-depth of this, I will go into it. Skincare stuff, basically, um, just some, like, stuff to write with. My mirror, which is, like, magnetic on one side, not. Um, and then I have some cotton balls and Q-tips, hairspray, my brushes, my perfume, um iPod. This is a lighter for that. Um, and the candle I'm burning is like Tropical Spice or something like that. Um, and the mirror I got from Ulta. So if you want me to go in more detail with that, I will. Uh, so when I pull this drawer out, um, over here I have some alcohol and a cup I use for cleaning my brushes, which a video will be on that very soon. So look out for that. My retainer is a primer primer. I just stuttered. Um, Amari Badascu body soap sample that I got. Um, this Queen Helen mint julep mask, which is my favorite mask of all time. Some belly button rings, a tongue scraper. Um, I have my two Coastal Scents palette, my Coastal Scents, um, like the matte palette and the 88 shimmer palette. And then I have this Urban Decay palette. There's a Sephora Moon Shadow Baked Palette, um, this little coach mirror. Under here I have the Urban Decay 15 Year Anniversary Palette and both Naked Palettes. Back there I have a Makeup Forever HD Foundation, Wisdom Candy, Urban Decay Marshmallow Glitter stuff that tastes actually really good. Too Faced Natural Eye Kit, some cords, and a Clinique little thing because I bring this along with me when I go over to friend's house friends house friends houses so if you guys want me to go through the palettes or go through anything please comment below but I don't want this video to be that long so and I'm gonna turn off that light cuz you don't need to waste batteries so okay so this is where I keep my makeup um, a lot different from last time but I I did actually upload a video of my makeup collection video but it like turned out really weird and glitchy so I had to redo it which is what I'm doing right now okay so on the top and by the way, this is two separate containers. I got them from Target, and all the little containers inside I got from Target too. So yeah, all together this is only like $50. On the top here I have some brushes, because um, I do my hair in here a little bit. Like I'll brush it, and I haven't decided if I want to change this into my hair room, but I don't know. We'll see. My Chi Silk Infusion, Rubik's Cube, random earring. Um... Some hair bands, I have a top coat in here, my Clarisonic Yes Do Cucumbers, a little sample from Urban Decay right there. So, it's basically what's on the top. And by the way, I'm just going to say straight up, I'm not going to lie to you guys or anything, these containers don't fit in here perfectly, so um, we had a lot of extra toilet paper, and so I shoved toilet paper back there. I know that shoving toilet paper back there is weird and stuff, but... I don't know it's what works for me so that these don't slide around so this is my first container and I start off like I do this the way that I do my makeup 
So this is like the face and priming drawer. Back here I have two CoverGirl concealer sticks, Urban Decay Primer Potion, I have a L'Oreal Paris like Dream Souffle Mousse Foundation, which I like a lot actually, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, um, here I have some tinted moisturizers, one from Avon, U Rebel by Benefit, and Sony Cash Up Tinted Radiant, Tinted Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 15, I don't know. Um, I have the CoverGirl Nature Lux, Smooth Minerals, Liquid Foundation from Avon. I have a Mary Kay primer, and I also have a L'Oreal Studio Secrets, one of those green correcting primers. And I also have Dr. Feel Good, which is kind of like a primer-ish mattifier, I don't know. Um, and then right here I do have an eyeshadow, um, but the only reason I have it is because um, it's the one I use for my eyebrows. So it doesn't belong in the eyeshadow drawer, even though I do use it for eyeshadows, but it's Omega by MAC. Okay, and then right here I have some of my baby primers. I have so many little primers, it's rid it's ridiculous. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I actually gave my mom one. Um, and then I have two big primers and like an elf primer. Those, all those are all Urban Decay ones. And then for foundations, right now I'm going between Makeup Forever HD Foundation and the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. My concealer, which I love, um, is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm like NC20. And then my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And okay, so my old mineralized skin finishes, when I hit pan, it was like circles, and now they're like crosses. So, I thought that that was really weird. This next drawer, you can see the lovely toilet paper, but basically this is like my higher end single eyeshadow drawer, which I know looks like all MAC, but that's like basically the only single eyeshadows I have that are high end. If you want me to go through all of my MAC products, or all of my high end products, or tell you all the colors, I will. But basically, these are all my MAC eyeshadows. I have a palette back there. I have this Venetian um, tarnish. Is that Venetian? I don't know. Um, cream eyeshadow. A couple Urban Decay single eyeshadows. This is like a Lorac 3D liquid luster. It, it's just, it's glitter that's like liquid. I have some MAC, um, what are it, pigments. I have a paint pot, and I don't even know what that is, another paint pot? No, it's not a paint pot, it's like a big bounce eyeshadow, yeah. It's actually really pretty. So that's it for the MAC drawer, or high-end drawer. Okay, so now this drawer, it's kind of like drugstore-ish, um, not super, super high-end. Um, makeup? I don't really know. So, back there I have a NYX, um, cream palette. I have a Rimmel, like, shimmery thing. I don't know, this is an Avon, uh, Twinkle and Shine eyeliner. Uh, this is one from Hard Candy that's kind of rubbed off, but that's glittery too. And then just more Avon, like, cream eyeshadows, basically. Um, and then I have, like, a little Mary Kay Icicles one. Right here I have, like... All my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, which I really had a phase for a while with, but now I don't use them that much anymore. Um, I still really like milk um, and cottage cheese, but I don't know, I don't use them that much anymore. And then I have these Avon ones that are kind of like NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, but a little bit more matte. Then right here I have like this mark, I don't, it's like this eye glimmer thing. It's just a cream eyeshadow that looks like that. And then I have um, a color tattoo thing by, what is this, by Maybelline. Um, and this is like the white one. And I actually really, really like this. Um, I don't know. I think that they're really pretty. And it, it, it's almost better than a MAC paint pot, honestly. Um, over here, I have some Mary Kay single dot eyeshadows or duos. Um... More Mary Kate single eyeshadows. Then I have this Avon palette. And then I have this Avon palette that looks like that. And then right here I have these Smooth Minerals eyeshadows by Avon. Um, this one is like a silvery one. And this one's like a light pink one. And then I have an Avon single eyeshadow. And this like, this is one of those Mark hookup things. But I just have it without the hookup thing. And then whenever you order from Coastal Sense you get samples. So I have some random... 
Costos and Samples. This drawer is definitely one of my favorites because I love eyeliner and mascara. Um, but it does have some eyeshadow palettes back here. Um, so I have some Maybelline ones. A Mary Kay one, which is like old, but I really, really used to love that gold color. It's like an orange gold, but I still love it. Um, and then I have a CoverGirl palette. Um, I have like a Flirt palette under there, which I think that brand is discontinued. I'm not sure. And then a Physician's Formula one, which actually is pretty good. Um, I don't mind that one at all, actually. I just said actually like 12 times, sorry. Um, I have a NYX Smoky Eyes kit, which I never use. I don't know why, but I just don't. Uh, Maybelline Eye Studio palette, which I was really excited to get this, and it's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, I have two eyelash curlers right here, and then I have like a weird eyelash curl right there, which like sucks really, really bad. Um, I have this like Avon Brown Gel Eyeliner, a Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, and a Mac Black Check Blue Line, or Mac Blue Line Black Chalk. Um, I have these two little NYX glitter things, um, and then I have eyelash glue, which is Duo. It's like my favorite eyelash glue ever. And then I have an Urban Decay um, eyeliner sharpener. I want to say pencil sharpener, but it's not a pencil. Here I have some mascaras, so I have this Rimmel Day to Night Volume Mascara Volume and Length, which I hate. Um, I also have this Great Lash one, which I hate. Lash Stilettos I like, it's by Maybelline, and then Urban Decay Big Fatty. CoverGirl Lash Flash, which is my favorite mascara of all time, ever, ever, ever. Um, L'Oreal Telescopic, which I like, but, um, I don't know, it's not that buildable. Benefits, they're real, and I have, like, an Urban Decay Mini one, and a Lancome Mini one. Over here, I have some eyeliners, and I just have, um, like, Urban Decay 24-7 pencils and whiskey, um, flip side, um... What I, ha I have more. I have another whiskey and a zero from Urban Decay. One of their 24-7 ones. And then this is another 24-7 one in Ransom. So this one's kind of like purple. And then more from the 24-7 line. I have this waterproof eyeliner um, in Perversion, which I like so much. I have it on today. I have a Stila eyeliner Mary Kay and Ulta like transforming eyeliner thing more just kind of like Avon ones and then I have two L'Oreal hip um eye coals so that is that drawer this drawer I'd have to say is definitely one of my favorites I love blush and highlighters and bronzers I don't know why I just I like them so much um so this is definitely one of my favorite drawers but you guys probably don't care. So, back here. Oh my gosh. Okay, it didn't just break. I have this MAC bronzer in golden. And this is not my favorite bronzer. Like, I don't know. It can make you a little bit tanner, but it's really not good for contouring. So, yeah. Um, and then I have NARS Laguna. Which I've hit pan majorly on. I love this one of my favorite bronzers. I think it is my favorite bronzer actually. Um, so that's like bronzing. And then right here I have this is a highlighter by NARS. It's like really, really sparkly and it's a new order. I also have High Beam and this kind of is like a blush slash highlighter. Um, it's NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. I call it a highlighter because it's shimmery ish a lot that was a really awful sentence but that's why i have that in the highlighting section um nars orgasm bella bomba max blush and melba which is a matte it's like an orangey color i have this mac ombre blush and azalea blossom this is a benefit box powder and this is like the benefit 10 um, I like using the bronzer side more than the highlighter side, so that's why it's like that, but it comes with a little brush, but I really 
don't use that too much. Um, back here I have a backup of a hookup that got discontinued. Um, here I have one of those Physicians Formula Happy Bronzers. Um, and an e.l.f. bronzing and blush powder, which is not only really dirty, but completely broken. But I still kind of like the bronzer. So I still have it. Um, it still works, so whatever. I have two NYX cream blushes. One in natural and one in hot pink. Um, this is the thing I have a backup of. It's like a um, hookup from MARC. Um... It's just like a really, really light pink, so I got a backup when I knew that was being discontinued. And then I have this CoverGirl blush in classic pink. And then this is like an Avon cream blush. It like rolls up. And this is in Rose Radiance. Or Golden Rose, same thing. Now onto lip products, which is my last drawer. Um, I'm just going to start from the side. I have an EOS lip balm in every single color and duplicates of some colors, but I only keep one in here, so this is the one in Strawberry Sorbet. Um, a Beauty Rush lip balm from um, Victoria's Secret, a MAC lip conditioner, and a Lush Honey Trap like, lip thing. Um, chapstick. I don't really know. I guess it's like a chapstick. Oh, lip balm. Whatever. Um, I have a Nivea chapstick and a Blistex chapstick. And then I have all these little, like, mini lip glosses. Most of them are from Mary Kay or Ava. Um, but then, like, this one's from Urban Decay and this one's from Joyeux. And then back there I have my lip pencils, which it's pathetic. I only have three, but... Oh, well, I don't really like them too much. Over here I have lipsticks, and I normally have... I have another MAC lipstick, but I don't know where it is right now. So, yeah. Um, and then I have some ones from uh, CoverGirl. I mean, from Revlon. Um, Ulta. These are from CoverGirl. That one's from Sephora. Uh, back here are my high-end lip glasses, which are from Benefit. I have some MAC Dazzle glasses. Um, a MAC lip glass. And NARS Turkish Delight. And then right here... I have all of my other lip glosses. Um, they range from like Cosmoholic, Sephora, Bath and Body Works, Mary Kay, um, Avon. I don't know. Um, I don't know. They're just like a million and one of them. I don't feel like going through all of them, but I will if everyone wants me to, but I doubt you do because lip glosses are lip glosses. Okay, so that is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, just tell me if you want to see reviews on anything or more in detail on some things, but I didn't want this video to be an hour long because I probably could talk about all this stuff for an hour. So I hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.